welcome back to the perspective on Jakarta Group News Channel. Lily, I'm looking at the list of University Impact Champions, which is uh, the academics, the 10 times 10 times 10 Impact uh, Champions, Corporate Impact Champions, Head of State. Uh, there are eight of them, including Republic of Indonesia, uh, Jokowi. Um, corporate Impact Champions, uh, among the names that are that we are, the public is familiar with, McKinsey, uh, Tupperware brand, Twitter, Price Waterhouse Coopers, and for the um, academics, um, Hong Kong University, Leicester, Nagoya University, Oxford, um, Sao Paulo, Waterloo. Um, we are yet to see local uh, companies or universities yeah. take pledge, aside from uh, Mr. Joko, uh, President Jokowi. What does it take for, for these entities to be chosen? as an impact champion? Yeah. Um, for private sector, for example, um, we have to go through also what we call due diligence processes. Uh, this is to ensure that the company that we are collaborate with, uh, while they're promoting uh, he for she campaign, uh, gender equality in their company or in their um, impact uh, uh, communities, for example, uh, they also uh, in line what UN as a whole also strive for. For example, uh, they not create the, the or they not making a, a harmful practices to the environment, for example, uh, or other mandates, mandates that UN Women is strive for. So all these companies also need to go through the, the, the process, what we call the due diligence or kepatuhannya in Bahasa Indonesia, to, to the rules, regulations, not only uh, in the country, but also to UN Women's uh, principles and women empowerment uh, principles that we had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's now, point, so. what about the uh, we t we talked about the corporate, the private sector. We talk about the public. What about the academics in Indonesia? The the, the champions that we have we have chosen. Yeah, has there been any uh, communications, any progress that has been shown by uh, by by the academics? Yeah, the yeah. Report? Partly, partly. Mm. We we have not yet nominated. Uh, um, uh, from Indonesia, but I think that's very good uh, suggestions, mm -hmm. and and we would like actually to work uh, more closely mm -hmm. with, with with some uh, prominent universities uh, right. who can be a part in championing the the campaign, or even schools, don't you think? Because I think uh, it's the younger that uh, th we are introduced, the younger yes the age with which they're introduced with the campaign is it's it's the better. So the boys and the young men. Yeah who are growing up entering the workforce understands yeah. uh, what it means to work alongside, not leading all the time, but understand that, that women have the same opportunities. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Abso absolutely. Uh, because we also believe that prevention also need to be uh, at the first place uh, before the incidents occurs. So why this, it's important also to start from the very uh, young age uh, to introduce about this idea. And as, as, as I mentioned before, that uh, on, on the government side, we have four governors uh, at the provincial level who have committed. Mm -hmm. So this is not only looking at the very uh, national uh, perspective only, but also uh, what is important and what is in a real, uh, close to the people's uh, realities, like for example, the provincial level, sub-national level. Do you also advise these governors who are, who've, now, who've now pledged for the campaign, advise them on how they can push uh, forward or put, put forth this, this, this campaign into their programs? Do you, do, you do you give them advice on that as well? Or do you leave that to the ministry to disseminate? Well, uh, because we, we understand that it's also part of the government's program already. Uh, so, as as UN Women, we work through the minister, because ministry, because that's the way how we work as an international uh, agency, uh, through the government, uh, through the national governments. So the national governments work with the, the provincial governments to um, move it forward. So we hope that uh, there's a um, 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 monitoring uh, framework put in place to by the ministry to look at it how it can be translated into programming and at the end, of course, the impact it's mm -hmm. resulting. Yeah. In your perspective, uh, Lily, what is what has become the most challenging aspect in trying to move the campaign, trying to mobilize the campaign? I mean, aside from, uh, I'm not talking about uh, the, uh, the, the challenge of the campaign itself, but how to mobilize to make sure that people are aware of the campaign, people know what is going on and they want to get involved in that campaign. Yeah. 
our humbly to say our resources yeah yeah so that's why we need to work through other uh, we need to build a lot of alliance with with many partners like through media so this is very very appreciative uh, 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 appreciated uh, event for us thank you for Brita Satu uh, to expand this uh, message uh, national wide nationwide so we need to work with with other partners uh, not only uh, um, government sector but also other sectors like civil society groups also mm -hmm. that we we work together so the challenge is 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 resources uh, uh, but I think now I, I, I tend to believe it because a lot of people now have an access to, to information right so if they, they just want to google it just type he for she everything's there everything's then you can uh, look at in your um, situation what can you do with this campaign uh, what kind of contribution that you can make that can also be done that way it starts with you um, ladies yes. and gentlemen so uh, all the information about he for she campaign is available online so it also tells you uh, it doesn't tell you specifically how you can uh, participate but then you can look back into your own environment and see what can what can I do and how can I start with exactly. uh, we'll come back after the short break mm -hmm.